Maybe I'm Sarissa, maybe I'm not, but you can call me Rice because that is my nickname. Welcome to my YouTube channel and to my review of It Takes Two, a lovely co-op game that you must play and co-op. Doesn't need to be local co-op. You can play online. A uh, family-friendly game about a family, um, this couple, Cody and May, on the brink of divorce and their child who, are, who is in the middle of it. And don't worry, no spoilers. This is what you learn from the beginning of the story. And it just goes on from there. So you get to choose from the beginning who you play as, whether you want to play as Cody or me. But also you play with a friend. Right now I'm playing with Anime Lover GLC that you're seeing. This is from his stream, the footage. I will put his link down below up to his Twitch channel. And we had so much fun. It was so fun. I can't emphasize it enough. And it's a 11 to 12 hour game. We took, I would say, 20 or under hours to do it. But because we didn't look up how to do the puzzles. And there's mini games in the game. Not going to spoil what type of mini games. But they're hidden a little bit everywhere. And we also took the time to play some when we could find them. And sometimes play them twice because we got competitive. <laughs> and basically, also some of the puzzles are like... Things you see but don't think about and it took it takes longer than you expect. But it's fun. Every level is different. This is one level. I'll just fast forward there another one and you'll see a complete different world. It's the it's so it's so like every puzzle is uh, every level of puzzle type is like a new adventure. They vary the powers, they vary um who takes charge of what. And this is definitely a game you have to play with some sort of Discord on or party chat because communication is key. So not only this couple and the game need to communicate, you as two people playing the game have to also communicate. Definitely lots of fun. I played the game that... um. The developers had played before A Way Out with another friend. And honestly, this has like nothing to do besides the go-hop part of it. This has nothing to do with each other. It's like a complete game on its own with it, its own dynamic, its own um, role switching. But I did enjoy A Way Out game, but I won't lie. I enjoyed this even more. The It Takes Two, it was fun. It was... um how to say, touching, heartwarming at times. And again, it's like a very easy type of solution to like play. Like you can't get bored. Every level is literally a different and there's different powers. And if you want to play again, like the replay value is not bad either because May and Cody always have different powers. So they can... You can never get bored. And there's boss fights. There's um, ways to get back. Like, I'm trying not to spoil it and still show you some gameplay and not, like, get you lost. But, even, like, there's so many things you can do that, again, it's very... I don't see people get bored of it. It might be... I'll give it one con, but it's not really a con. It might be sometimes too easy. <laughs> but, again, it's a family-friendly game. And it's stuck again. So you have to give it that benefit of the doubt. But it's for all ages. So to me, is that it's the right difficulty. So you don't have to worry about it, about being stuck for too long. Because I think as a younger person with the puzzles, etc., you might take longer. Or as a child. But it's so great. And it's funny. Again, emphasis on funny. And it's touching. And honestly, if I had to give this a rating, I would give it like a 9 out of 10. Honestly, a 9 out of 10. Um, some of the dynamics are weird. Like that daughter was seeing it there. <laughs> she makes me laugh because I'm like, your parents, uh, things are happening and you're just very nonchalant and be like, oh, she, I understand she's sad. But sometimes I'm like, uh, call the police, please. If your parents act like this, please call the police. But again, it's fun. It does so much. It, the game is beautiful. The game is beautiful. 
And I I can only give praise to the game. The game was so good. I was like, I should get do a review. I don't even know this is good. Even the dynamics, easy, easy control. So even if you're not, um, I played on PlayStation. Even if you're not familiar, like know your PlayStation controller that well, you will still be able to successfully play the game. You'll be able to successfully play the game. Like, again, not spoiling. This is definitely just, a game it was a game i wasn't expected to be this good but it was and again so much so much you can do <laughs> just so much so if you enjoy this thank you for watching please subscribe like dislike comment tell me if you plan on getting this game if you like the game again you can play this this like our family together and change controller replay value you can go back and play as cody if you started as me um and i think that you might even like miss a lot of trophies or like mini games because we did it the game and we have missed a lot of mini games and we thought we had gotten most of them so definitely if you're looking for a game to play with somebody else i do recommend it takes two it's so good and such like little things you can do, cute things, details. And again, the levels are like masterpieces in my opinion, masterpieces. But thank you for watching until now. And as always, take care, um, stay elegant and have a great day. Bye-bye.